Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Max Miranda Hot Tips. My name is James Coleman, I'm a product design graduate and Max Miranda mentor in South East England. In today's hot tip I'm going to be looking at the colour picker inside Maxwell Render. So here I am in my scene. This is my scene from my studio lighting techniques tutorial. And I've got this plastic material applied to the knot in my scene. And if I double click this material to open it up, you can see how it's made, it's just a wizard material. You've got this top coat which is providing the gloss on top of this base, which is providing the colour. And if I click on either one of these coloured rectangles, it's going to bring up the colour that's currently applied to the material. Now by default, the colour mode in Maxwell Studio is RGB. So you've got your amount of red, your amount of green, and your amount of blue. And this can obviously trace its roots back to computing. And graphic design, when you're on a monitor, you have your primary colours of red, green, and blue to make up all the colours in the spectrum. However, in the real world, it's often a lot easier, especially when talking about products and real world objects, to use a different colour system. RGB doesn't really make much sense when you're talking about real-world objects and how they look. There are different colour libraries, for example the Pantone system in graphic design, or the RAL system in product design, but we don't get either of those inside Maxwell Studio. What we do have, however, is hue saturation value mode, and this is slightly better than using RGB. Now technically, if you're using a colour triangle and ring up here, you are already using hue saturation value mode. The outside ring is your hue, this adjustment here is your value, and this adjustment here is your saturation. However, to me, when I'm using this triangle and ring system, it's still a bit vague, and I like a bit more control, but still using the HSV system. So I go down here, and I change my mode from RGB to HSV, and it gives me direct control over the hue, saturation, and value of my materials. Especially if I've got a particular hue that I've found that I like the hue of, but I want to change the saturation or the value without accidentally changing the hue, which is what you often do when using RGB. It's difficult to keep colours the same hue or the same saturation or the same value while adjusting one or two of the others. And also I find HSV particularly useful if I find a nice, bright, vibrant colour that I like, but I want to change the hue slightly. The saturation and the value will remain the same so I can just fine-tune the hue that I need. Don't forget as well that you've got your colour libraries here where you can pick some colours that you've stored previously and in order to actually store colours here all you have to do is find the colour that you'd like to store and then drag it over and Maxwell Studio will remember that. And in addition to the RGB and HSV colour pickers that you've got here you can also use your system colour picker by clicking on this eyedropper tool here. This gives me the native Mac OS X colour picker, all the different colour wheels, colour sliders, etc. For example, if a client wants a specific CMYK value, you can plug it in in here, and Maxwell will then translate that into RGB, and say OK. One thing you may have to do after using your system colour picker is just double click on the new colour here to make sure that Maxwell knows what you mean. Using the system colour picker, I can even pick a colour from my own monitor by choosing the system colour picker and then this magnifying glass and then clicking somewhere in the monitor and I can use that value in my materials. So select OK and then again double click to make sure Maxwell knows what you mean. And of course all this time you've also got on the right here the old colour that you used to have selected. And of course in your material editor over here, if you want to change the reflectance 90 colour to match the reflectance 0 colour, all you have to do is click and drag on the reflectance zero colour, drag it down onto the reflectance 90, release, and it will copy and paste. And that's your hot tip for today, getting the most out of the Maxwell Render Colour Picker, in particular using the hue saturation value mode instead of the red, green, blue mode. Thanks very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and follow me on Twitter at jcom underscore design. Any questions or suggestions, send them to maxwellrenderbrightoncctgmail.com. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you again soon.